chapter 13 is composite figures. So when we say composite figures, it's basically taking a whole thing and removing a part of a figure of the thing. Or it could be a combination of smaller figures. So you can think of it as either way. Whatever is easiest and makes sense is what you want to do. Okay, so um, when we're looking for the perimeter of a composite figure, that just means we have to add all the sides. Okay, but if we're taking the area of a composite figure, it actually could mean that we're taking the sum of areas of smaller rectangles and squares, or it could mean that we are taking away an area of a square or a rectangle. Okay, so which means we will be doing from page 142. Okay, on page 142, there's a figure that shows... Okay, so this is 3B. Okay, so here we're asked to find the perimeter and the area. Okay, so to find the perimeter, we can technically just start adding the sides. So this will be 9 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5. Sorry, there's a 9 plus 2 plus 4, but I skipped the 5. And another 5, and then a 2, and another 9 and an 8. Okay, so again, this is 9 and a 2. I skip the 5, so I got to put that back. 5, and then another 5, and then a 2, and then a 9. This is 9, and that's 8. Okay, so which means we can add this one by one, or we can add this in groups. Whatever is most convenient or easiest for the kids, that's what we will do. So if I look at this, this is together, that's 11. If I add that, that's technically 9. If I add that, that's technically 7. And if I add that, that's 17. Okay, so which means if I add these two together, that's 20. And if I add that, that's technically 24. Making the perimeter 44 centimeters. Okay, so if we're asked to find the area of that figure, Easiest thing to do is take the area of the whole thing and subtract that area. Okay, you could also do the sum of the areas. So that means you can take the sum of that rectangle plus the, that rectangle and that rectangle. So clearly that's harder because that's three areas that you're looking for rather than just two areas. So this is what I mean when I said earlier that it could be the sum of areas or it could be an area minus an area. So in this case, I'm going to take the area of the big thing, which is 9 times 8. And then I'm going to minus the area of this little thing. So this little thing will be 5 times 4, which means this will be 72 minus 20, which means that will be 52 centimeters squared. So again, the units for perimeter is centimeters or meter. Sorry, this is in meters. So we got to be careful. That's in meters. So we remove the C. Okay. So remove the C. Okay. But in the next problem, this is also in meters. So again, if it's area, it's meter squared or centimeter squared. Okay, so the perimeter here is the same thought process. So if we look for the perimeter of this, we can take this 6 plus, 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 plus. So take all the sides. So that's a 6 plus 7 plus, this is technically a 3 because that's a 3 plus, this is a 3, this is together, this is 3 plus 6 plus 3. So I can put that in parentheses, 3 plus 6 plus 3, and then that's another 3, and then that's another 3, and a 7. Okay, so again, 
just like we did earlier, we can do it in pieces. So that one first, and then that one, and then that one, and then that one. Okay, so I leave that for you to solve. You should get as your final answer, 44 meters as well. Okay, but an easier version would have been if I move this segment up to the top and I move that segment up to the top, that's technically a rectangle with an extra seven and seven. So which means the easier version would have been this together is three plus three is six plus six is 12. So that's 12, which means the top is also 12. And then this is 10 and this is 10. And then this is plus seven and seven because those would have been extra. So again, whatever it is that's easiest for the kids, then that's what we want to do. Okay, in total, that's 44. Okay, now for the area, we will now be able to either take the area, the whole thing, and then subtract and subtract. But clearly, that's longer than if I just took the area of this rectangle and the area of that rectangle. So, which means the area of the bottom rectangle, we know that this is 12 times this is 3. And then we're going to add this is 6 times 7. Okay, so which means this will be 36 plus 42. So, if we do that mentally, that will be 78. So our area will be 78 meters squared. So again, parents, uh, finding the area has different ways. Also finding the perimeter, if your mind or if you can see the picture clearly, you can move segments over to create a, fo a full figure. Okay, and then you can use that to find the perimeter. But if that's too hard of a concept, then just, I suggest, just add each of the sides one by one. That concludes lesson two of chapter three. See you in the next lesson.